what happened? Here in Kenya, yes. Nothing happened. Mm. 2018, just the other day, we were supposed to host Chan. What happened? Nothing, Nothing came up. So, so we that event left. Commitment. Now we need that commitment. I know this time there are three presidents who are backing the bid. However, it is one thing to back it. If I go, if I pick up a bit political, in 2013, we were promised five state of the art stadia. Bernard, have you seen any? Please, well, okay. <laughs> in case you've seen, eh? please point it out. Well, to me. So now that's where the problem is. Yes. Okay. The talk is big. The action is zero, mm. and no, I hope well, that this here, time here round, is, here is what is bothering it will me a be bit, different. Gentlemen. Here is what is bothering me a bit: the stadia that we are talking about refurbishing at the moment are not the ones that have been selected for this tournament. I know the Meru Kinoru Stadium is being refurbished. I know that Kirigiti is being refurbished, but now we are also talking about Kipkeno, which has had a problem. Yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, Wilfred, you know this about <laughs> Kipkeno. It, it is not about refurbishing that one. That one has to be rebuilt. It has to be rebuilt, and remember that you know it, it has been. Uh, done for the last or more than 10 years you know since it was it was started. yes and that is where the big problem is uh, actually you know when when you look at even kasarani because what i understood and what everybody has been talking about is that we should have a football stadium football only football only because that is where you want the fans to interact with the footballers. But if you see Kasarani, you know, people will be like 20, 30 meters away from the... You know, from you know, you know gentlemen, I, I, I will have to tell you, we live in Kenya and we live in Africa. <laughs> we're not going to have that soon. We need a multi-purpose stadium because we're still trying to build everything else. <laughs> like, like you're saying, we need infrastructure for every other sport as yes. well. So if we can't build a, a, a stadium for volleyball, for basketball, for, we've got to have yeah. a multi-purpose stadium. Okay. My question is whether or not we'll be yes. ready. That is a big question. Let me tell you, you know... Uh, Lady Luck has smiled on Kenya, Patrick. Mm. I don't know whether you've considered this. That time lucky. This time mm. we'll be very lucky. You know why? Because in 2027 we'll be having our elections. So mm. this has to proceed. This <laughs> is right, has yeah. to go on. Ken. Yes, Ken, Ken. this is our no, trump no, card. No, 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 he's right. But, but yes, we, we, you know, you know, yes. it will happen. When I yes. asked Ken earlier on what worked for him, he confused me because he told me what didn't work for him. So now I don't know what he's, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about now. No, no, but no, 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 Heavily if you're for running Afcon. for any office Heavily. in 2027, <laughs> and will you also I be need, cons I need something to show to show the electorate. Look, but, this is what I've done. Oh, but okay. I've brought no, you no, this. No, 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 Ken. Yes. And you'll get it wrong. The electorate just wants to know what, whether they have, will have food today, Af whether Af the fuel will go. No, no, Bernard, no, it will happen. No, 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 no. I'm convinced. No, give me another reason. Bernard, 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 I'm, Bernard, Bernard, I'm convinced it will happen. You know why? I'm convinced it will happen because first, there are three nations here. Correct. Will Kenya want to be the one? And you see, not all nations. Will Kenya be the one that wants to pull the bid down? Hell no, it can't happen. And what he said, but is very true. We all know how projects end. Towards that next election, everything comes up. Now, the fact that there are three presidents who've committed that is going to be done, I don't think there's any one of them who wants to be the one that pulls everything back. Let me, play, that, the, let me play the devil's it's advocate. Let me play yes. the devil's advocate here. So um, it's 2027, and it's Afcon, and there's elections in Kenya and you're the president of CAF or uh, you are the federation president of a team that is playing in AFCON, would you like to play from what you have seen in the papers of past elections, would you like your team to play in Kenya or the finals to be played in Kenya or the quarters to be played in Kenya? Would you <laughs> no, 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 I'm actually with you, Ben. Ken. I'm actually with you, Ben. Ken. I get what you're saying. People do not, you know, no, 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 Ken, Ken, you, you know, Ken likes to be trivial on some things, eh? and that's the problem. You start making arrangements to be out of that country in January for an election in March or in the other side of the month. You don't move on the same day. That, and that people, a lot of people take it into consideration, wouldn't they? And I'm not saying it's, going, it's not going to happen. I am asking whether that will be a possibility. Maybe the, the quarters, the same is, will be played uh, elsewhere. Do you think? It's possible. Mm. It's possible. It's possible. Because politics, the moment there's elections, we all know what happens with the environment. Okay, but we are digressing. So you are saying yes. that uh, the politics might help the infrastructure to be built as a promise, you know, and, and to, to get some po political mileage. When you come up and stand and say you want to be re-elected, what are you going to use? Mm. Just, just one word, Bernard, and, you know, yeah. and, and, and this is to Korea and, uh, mm. and Ken. Must we as a country just do things because it's an election? <laughs> I mean, we, we had, no, 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 exactly. You know, I mean, we should be realistic and we should, in this show, we should be saying that, you know, whether we have election or no election, yeah. let's develop infrastructure for sports. Regardless period. of whether you're Regardless. going to use yes. it for yes. a mileage or not, yes. eh? it should be done. I totally agree yes. with him. Absolutely. But now it's a culture and it's a system. 
how are we going to change that banana? Mm -hmm. We can't. <laughs> I'd really like, you mentioned about Kiringiti and your Kinorus. Unfortunately, Bernard, the unfortunate truth is those surfaces cannot even host a county league. They're very poor. I remember a few years ago. You were also complaining about it, the Moranga Seals field. I don't know what's the complaint about it. Oh, no, their field is nice. Okay. It's just that it's far off. Where is their field? Buddy? Some distance. If you, but you, you it's some thin distance that before you get there. It's tilted on one side. You know, like the Narok Stadium. We okay, know what the problem is. Okay, but fine, Bernard. <laughs> get another example of a similar facility. You don't have. So that's why you have to appreciate what is there. Okay. So you see, the study. We just have to make do. <laughs> we have to make do. Have. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Listen, but Miguel's right. For we you need to as get a club, yeah. for the Kenyan clubs as well, what do you think the gain will be uh, with this AFCON bid? Um, if there's a player from City Stars that makes it to the Kenyan squad and plays in AFCON, do you know what that means to me, Bernard? Even Mashilingi, because this is a shopping window. Everyone will be focused on AFCON. So this player will be all over because TV rights will have been sold, all these games are going to be live, everyone is going to be following what is going on in the continent at the highest level. So that means for the players, they get opportunity to be spotted and you can actually get an opportunity to ship that player out into Europe. And right. you know what that football for, for a means. long time, for a long time, uh, Patrick, yeah. the Ghanaian national team used to come and camp in Kenya. So even when they in Karuturi, crayfish. In Karuturi, yes. Probably because of the weather. But and then where they were going as well, yeah. okay? Uh, if they are going down south, they know the weather is cold there. They would camp in Naivasha, which has similar weather. When they were leaving, they would leave their kids behind and they would have done a little clinic. Do you expect this as well when we come to the AFCON? No, would that's, you? of course that's what I expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as I said, sometimes it's beyond the football. It is, um, it is the culture around the game. And those are some of the things that people come and do. Okay. Uh, impart life skills, mm. uh, come and do talks to local players. They need to see things from a different perspective. I expect all that to happen. I'm surprised this time you're not inviting them to Nairobi City Stars. You're always very quick to invite them to your own fold. <laughs> but let's look at what is going to be happening over the weekend. I think City Stars have a match as well over the weekend. What's the fixtures for uh, the FKM? There's a couple of things that are actually going on over the weekend. In